that was not supposed to happen. Hey homo sapiens and my bites, it's me Rogue Marvel Scott, welcome back to the channel and welcome back any new watchers or subscribers. That was not supposed to happen. And welcome back any watchers or new subscribers. <laughs> so basically I am doing like a little series right now, maybe three, four videos um, about, you know, bruising and how to create bruising on your face before you want to venture into doing more Halloweenish looks, more believable Halloweenish looks. Also, it has been um, driven by another makeup artist who I mentioned in my um, other video before this one, who is called Tiana Ellen, and it was driven by her creating an eye look that was some of the colours kind of resembled domestic violence, mental health and breast cancer and I chose to go towards the domestic violence um, route and because I feel like domestic violence is not, let me just say this, is not a joke. However, bruising and all of that sort of stuff, what I'm doing right now is part of doing Halloweenish looks. So if you're going to become a zombie, you need to know how to be bruised and you need to know how to apply blood and stuff like that. So this is kind of why I'm doing what I'm doing today. I'm not making a joke out of being a person um, who has fallen into domestic violence. And I have also witnessed domestic violence myself also. So it's not a joke. I'm just, you know, using my makeup skills to teach you guys how to do it on a budget. I'm going to be creating some scarring or some cuts onto my face today, and I'm going to be using Ben Nye. Now, Ben Nye is not cheap, and these are one ounce, um, one ounce tubs. And I've got BW1, which is brown, and LBW, which is light brown. LBW1, should I say, light brown. And I also have my own hair, which I made. Now, if you'd like to, let me just show you the consistency of that. It's kind of, it's, it's exactly like, but this is quite old, so I'm just gonna have to make a new one. But I'll leave, I'll, if, if you want me to do a video on how I made that, then let me know in the comments down below. But we're going to go in with the brown, and I'm gonna say dark brown, because I don't believe I saw a dark brown on any Ben Nye websites or any of the websites that I bought um, these scar waxes from. And we're just gonna get like a small dollop like this okay and then we're just going to turn it into like a little worm as you can see on my hands i have two little sausages and the larger sausage here i'm going to place on my forehead the smaller one i'm going to place on my nose and we're going to start off with the larger one and i'm just going to it down like that and I'm going to place it here over a natural scar <laughs> oh yeah this isn't working out too good is it I have just dipped this brush into some Vaseline I'm going to dip some more in actually and we're just going to blend those edges in because I don't want to use my fingers because I feel like using a brush at this point can get me some precision and less over blending as well as some realism. This is the point where 
where I'm supposed to zoom in. Happy with that, I'm gonna go onto my nose and uh, what, wait, we should put it this way more because this is a um, cut over there or bruise, sorry. So we've gone in with the scar wax, we blended it the way that we need it to be blended and we're going to go in with a tool to sculpt. Now traditionally and professionally and more safe wise, health and safety wise, I would recommend that you go in using a spatula but today because this is a whimsical video, not whimsical, but um, let's just say I can't find my spatula so I'm going in with a knife. So I'm just going to go in with some Vaseline and this is what you're going to do when you're going to be using a spatula, especially with scar wax. You're going to um, just coat your tool with, with some Vaseline and then you're going to create a slice. Okay, and because I didn't put any glue on underneath, I'm going to have to stick that back on. <laughs> going in with my well lubricated brush, I'm just going to go in those lines and open them. We're gonna powder that and make it a lot less shiny because of the Vaseline and then we will put on some blood. But before we put on the blood, we're going to put on some color corrector and then we're going to put some foundation on just to make sure that everything is cohesive and then we will put some bruising around it just to create some irritation around the whole look. We don't want to just put blood on to create this whole irritation look because that doesn't look believable. Now I could actually cheat and be like, oh, let me zoom out so you don't see any of the mistakes. But I want you to see everything. Because there are no mistakes. It's just blending it out.
we're gonna do the same with our nose and then we're gonna add some blood. So we've got our cuts done on our faces. We've got our bruises done on our faces. What now next to make? What next? Ne what? What? They don't make no sense. What now next to do is to add some blood to this look and we're going to use some coagulated blood. Now I've got two vials here. I've got, I maybe should have had dated them, but one is lighter than the other. I don't know if that is showing up on camera yet. Yeah, this one is lighter than this one. Um, so we're gonna go in with the darker one because I want my blood to look a lot more like it has settled a little bit coagulated a little bit if we must say that so guys as you can see I've just added the blood and I think this is probably the end of the tutorial Oop for um, adding blood to the whole look. I'm going to charge my battery because we're going to go on to lips. See you in the next video. Bye. Rogue Marby Scott.